Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, KGFL Creations. This is another episode of Friday Souls. As you all know, Friday Souls is the day that we come together to talk about what has been happening in our sewing room, the plans that we have for the weekend and for the week ahead, and also talk a little bit about life. Before we talk about what's been going on in the sewing room, I want to talk about what I'm wearing today. This is the Melody Domen by Love Notions. I made this blouse last year, sometime last year, don't remember when. I would have to look through my videos to figure out when I made this one. You don't see me as much with this blouse on videos because it's a bit, it's a light color. But today, because I toned down my lights and I have my windows open a little bit, I'm hoping that this video will be okay, that does not have too much of a glare on this blouse because it's a light colored, like I said. Yeah, it's not one to be uh, recording all the time, especially at night when I have my lights full on. But I do love this blouse. I wear it to work a lot. It's not that I don't wear this blouse, I do. It's just for recording. It's a bit tricky. Now let's talk about what has been going on in the sewing room. I told you guys last week that I wanted to start on my uh, Haskell shirt, but that did not happen. No, 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 that did not happen because my daughter asked me to make a blouse for her. She comes to me, she's like, oh, can you make a Rhapsody blouse? I'm like, uh, okay. And she's like, oh yeah, I wanna take it on my trip. I was like, wow, okay. So I had to kind of scramble and, and uh, get something out of my uh, stash. And I showed her a couple of um, um, fabrics that I had in there so she chose one and I cut it and it went pretty fast I was sewing at night so this blouse took me three nights to put it all together because you know I work full-time so I can only work at night so I ended up making the uh, Rhapsody blouse for her didn't have time to record anything because as soon as I finished the Rhapsody blouse she took it she folded it and she put it in her luggage and there she went so now that she's back from her trip I told her, give me that blouse so I can make my video and get to show it to everybody. So here it is. This is the Rhapsody blouse that I made for her. Love, love, love this fabric. This color is really, really nice. It's a rust, dark rust color with these little, they're not flowers. They're like little leaves with all the colors, uh, the little leaves. This is very um, autumn-like, but she asked for this one here. And I think she did wear it with that green uh, Metra blazer. I think she told me that. She put the Metra right on top of this one here. Um, don't know if you noticed something. The Rhapsody has that little V that comes down right here that has a little tie, but she asked me to make it straight across, so I cut it straight across and i just did a little binding same thing as i did with all the other ones and i did add a little label it says thanks i made it yes thanks i made it came out really really cute this little blouse here like i said this fab this fabric we purchased from joanne's a while back maybe last year maybe two years ago i don't remember when we bought this i did not make French seams on the inside. I only serged the whole thing. I serged. I changed the uh, serger thread to uh, my machine to the gray one. So um, I used it on this one here. Yeah, those French seams, they take too long and I was in a hurry to make this because she was traveling. So serger, serger it is. That's what I did. Came out really, really cute. I've made I don't even know how many have Rhapsody blouses, blouses and dresses I made. It's one of our favorites. The back, I prefer to do the gather and she also prefers the gather compared to the little pleat that they have here in the middle. That's what the pattern calls for. But nowadays I only do the gather. That's what we like. So yeah, really, really pretty. My little, uh, not mine, my daughter's uh, Rhapsody blouse. Okay, so plans for this weekend. This weekend, the Haskell shirt will happen. Yes, I have 
my pattern all cut up here pockets everything everything here it's cut up interesting that for the first time i see the uh, shirt it's kind of like this one it's a camp style shirt and she has two pieces for a top and a bottom they're a smidgen one is a little bit smaller than the other which is interesting to see most of the time we see just one piece and you do it from top and bottom for the collar so this is interesting yeah so my <laughs> haskell uh pattern is here i pulled this fabric here from my stash it's a nice light blue this is a linen rayon mix purchased from joann's we purchased this one i think it was from joann's up in tampa yeah my daughter purchased this one there yeah that joann's had a lot of nice um, stuff a lot of good stuff there so i pulled this one going to make the Haskell out of this one and I am ready to go all I have to do is cut it and start making it I did watch the whole um, video by Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery she has a sew along for the uh, Haskell shirt for cashmere I think she did it specifically for cashmere so we can go there and watch her making the whole thing and she makes step by step step by step step by step it was very interesting i already watched it i'm sure i'm gonna have to watch it again and again and again because there is a bit different things to do with this shirt which i have not never done before so it'll be interesting yeah so this weekend this is happening i am not going to sew anything for my daughter this whole month since i came back from my vacation i made for her the uh, t-shirt the blue t-shirt i made for her as soon as i got back from vacation after that i made the green uh metro blazer after that i made that one blue little uh blouse with the little shirring here up top that pretty uh, little thing that i made for her and this week i made the uh rhapsody which is sitting here the rhapsody so enough now i need to make something for me now it's my time so yeah, Haskell it is. Hopefully next week I'll have a, a shirt ready for you guys to see. And I hope it fits me well. We'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, that's all I have for you guys this week. If you like this video, please smash that like button below. And also if you can please subscribe, it will mean a lot to me. This last week I did get a lot of new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. And I just wanted to thank everybody for the support and my videos are getting out there and things are moving. Things are moving. I am very, very happy. Very, very happy. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.